Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we'll create a double exposure effect. It will be fun. So let's start our work. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, image for the time being and uh, this image. So let's start our work. First of all, we'll create a selection by using quick selection tool. Uh, once you create a selection perfectly like this after that uh, what we'll do is we will simply just click on this mask button right click on it and click on select and mask nice now size it up without touching anything else just brush over the white sides and remove the edges that's great now we have our character separated from the background now we'll select the background layer and click on this adjustments and click on solid color from solid color we will select a solid color of white it's a white color and after that we'll move to our image and uh, we'll select our second image which we want to use unlock the layer right click and click on convert to smart object and select and drag it on our image that's great now press ctrl t size it down and uh, fix according to the size of our animal like uh, like this it's uh, pretty much nice like here or we can move it uh, from here to this side but i think it's uh, it's nice from this side so now we'll press ctrl alt and mask on this uh, between this layer like this or if you don't want to do that just undo and right click on this uh, our first image right click on it and click on create clipping mask that's nice now uh, let's uh, size it up to match it with beards uh, size like uh, it's nice uh, looks perfect but uh, yes that's nice we have adjusted the size and now what we'll do is uh, we want to make it a little lighter so we could erase the edges of this it's a it's the easiest way is go to image uh, adjustments and click on levels from levels we'll select the preset from default to lighter color that's great and now we will move this white slider to the left side until we uh, removed all the edges you can see that these are edges once you are moving into this side you will see the white edges are going to be removed fully removed after that uh, it's on 188 so after that we will move it to make it a little darker about up to 75 is nice I think 70 is nice right. or we can say 75 nice now click on ok and now we have a little bit of our uh, uh, image now select this and we'll name this as a uh, forest and name our animal as animal great now select our animal layer and click on this layer mask thumbnail press brush and uh, choose a brush tool and we'll change the foreground color to black and we will lower the opacity to about like 50% uh, is nice and now oops sorry it's it's not a layer x and uh, nope oops sorry we are doing wrong click on this first layer click on layer mask thumbnail and now you will see it is removing but we don't want to remove fully so we'll opacity increase the opacity to about 90 percent and you will see it's uh, hard so we'll make it hard uh, softness and uh, let's just make it a little bit of uh, 14% now it looks looks like amazing great that's nice looks uh, looks nice here at the time being and uh, yes cool now we want to reveal a little bit of our uh, animal face so we'll click on forest and uh, just give a little clicks so it could reveal a little bit of its face not too much because uh, after that we will lose our uh, we can say that uh, 
what we want to create so let's just see where is the eye so this is the eye i think so but i don't think so we need this eye so we'll undo the changes until we hide this character now that's nice it it looks much better here and uh what else let's uh give light like as i showed in this image there is light so uh we'll increase the size of our document a little bit like this and after that we want to uh increase the greeniness in this image so we'll go to selective colors apply this on forest only and change the green and now we want to make it little green so it could be look green from this side and change the yellows i think it's nice here now uh, what else we can do is we we'll select hue saturations make it mask thumbnail select uh, a color of green and move this slider to green side a little bit and uh, yes now you will see that the it is affecting the green color so don't touch a lot we just want to increase the a little bit of opacity it looks nice here so close and it's nice now uh we should create a new light here so create a new layer name this layer as a uh, light select your brush tool size it up and make your soft uh, make your brush softer size it up press d and change the foreground color to about like little yellow color a little bit more and click here but increase the opacity to about 100% and now click here now change the foreground color to about like little darker color a bit more and size it down your brush and give two clicks nice now change normal to a uh, screen or you can make it little screen or light color but i think screen is nice now we'll press uh, press uh, move tool press control t and then size it up a little bit so it could look like it's a nicer look great and now we'll copy this uh, and make it uh, invert and then like this it looks uh, much better and now basically we are done here but we would i would like to add some birds here so from here i would like to drag birds size it up a little bit and uh, make it multiply and there we have our birds let's add a little bit more but i think it's enough so that's the basic effect i hope you like this video and one more thing i would like to add here is if you want to increase the area of these uh, uh, trees just select the animal layer press brush tool so using your foreground color as black or oh, sorry is as white and you can increase the uh, area you can see that like this but i would like to use only on this side that's great and uh, i hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful uh, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning